Hello dear friends, good morning to all of you. This video lecture is regarding the unit number 6 which is the last unit of professional ethics. After this unit, our PE subject completed. Okay, so let's start last unit of this subject and this is the first part of this unit 6. And after that second part we'll discuss in the next video lecture. So first uh, part regarding this is the human value for the Indian manager. The name of this unit is human value for Indian manager. So whenever in the any field we take any field uh, in any uh, we can say field there are the requirement of human being. Without human being we cannot start any business right and any we can say um, economic economical activities. So sometimes some writers say that employees are the soul of the business or soul of the any field. Without employee, you cannot start your business. Okay, so how the humans are important for the Indian manager. So in this particular slide or in this particular lecture, you learn about that, right? So let's start first part. So in this sixth unit, there are five topics are considered. First topic is introduction regarding this human values for the indian manager first one is the introduction then second one is the lesson from an ancient indian education system from the past scenario whenever we start learning in india how this human values and education system how is to be going in the last we can say ancient times right and third is the law of karma then Fourth topic is quality of working life. And the fifth and the last topic is ethics of Swami Vivekanand, Gandhiji, Arvind Ghosh and Tagorji. So in this particular video lecture, I consider first three topics. First one is introduction, lesson from the ancient Indian education system and the law of karma. Okay, so let's start. First one, what is human value? What is the meaning of human value? So, human values is refers to those values which are at the core of the human being, which are necessary for the human being. The value which are considered for the basic from the inherent values in the human include the truth, honesty, loyalty, love, peace, etc. are considered as the human values. There are also considered the universal timeless and the entire apply for the human being. So it's a very important whenever you uh, hear from the picture you see that that the value is beginning from your roots. If your values are very strong then you have to get the achievements right. So from this image you can easily understand if you have the human values then you have to get the higher achievement in your field. Without human values you cannot stay for the longer time in your market. What are the necessity of the human values? You say that, madam, you say that uh, um, human values are important, but why they are important? So let's see. Here from the image you see that try not to become a man of success but rather try to become a man of value. If you have a value, then you can easily achieve the success. So it's depend on the value. If your values are very strong, if your values are very fair, then you can easily and uh, easily get whatever you have to success, whatever type of uh, success you have to achieve in your life, you can easily achieve that. Human values are the necessary in today's society and business world. Human values are the features that guide the manager to take into the account the human element when one interacts with the another human. Because um, in the last lectures we discussed that the organization is what? Organization means the number of people are working for the same goal, right? So there are the number of people uh, day to day we can say they have to interact with each other. So at that time values are very important. If they cannot consider value for each other, uh, in this value you can also consider the honesty, respect. Then after uh, we can say that um, uh, we can uh, consider there are the um, hierarchy 
in the any uh, we can say organization there are considered one hierarchy like top level uh, uh, bit, uh, we can say in this pm subject you learn about that there are the three levels of management and in this hierar hierarchy level they have to follow the rules and regulation and give the respect to each other right then after introduction so it is a known fact that the unethical acts is eventually leads to downfall so still a people is reshot them what can be done for that so sometimes some people have to doing the unethical practices for their own we can say selfish selfishness right but for the self uh, we can say center uh, self whenever any people have to consider any self center activity at that time they have to doing this unethical practices right but if you have to do this unethical practices then it leads to be a downfall means you cannot get the success in your life right so who are this manager whom the employees follow who guides and instruct them and who is to be instrumental in creating a certain value and culture they have to ask because in this organization ceo cannot we can say interact with the uh, with the top to we can say um, lower level management right so there are the manager is a one person who always interact with this person and guide them so if a manager have the values manager is the one we can say is ethical with ethics if a manager is working then easily they can achieve the success in their organization there are all hired by the organization according to their education eligibility so according to that they have to hire this manager and they always try to them to be a secure their position and always they have to doing a best activity in their field then second topic after the introduction is the lesson from the anisant indian education system from the anisant time you see there are the one consider as a upanishada what is the meaning of upanishad upanishad in the gujarati language you can say that guru ni pase besi ne bhanu बराबर है वेन एवर यू हेव टू टी वेन एवर यू हेव टू लर्न एनी थिंग्स फ्रॉम योर फ्रॉम योर एजुकेटर सो इट्स कॉल एज द उपनिषद सो इट्स अ एनिसेंट टाइम इन द इंडियन सिस्टम वी कैन से देर आर द वन टाइप ऑफ गुरुकुल वेन दे हैव टू एनी वी कैन से स्टूडेंट्स हैव टू वर्किंग एंड ऑन देर स्टडिंग ऑन दिस एनी फील्ड एट दट टाइम दे हैव टू गो फॉर दिस गुरुकुल एंड स्टे देर स्टे देर एंड गेट द एजुकेशन राइट सो लेट सी the purpose of the education is to teach a child how to live the life when he or she is grown up there are which is the overall development of the child but nowadays we can say there are the education system is uh, one type of we can say that only a uh, teaching knowledge only they have to be a uh, we can say that apne jene kahiye che gujarati ma ke pustak yu gyan che barabar che but what is the right meaning of education right meaning of education means any situation in your life you have to face how to how you face that this teaching is how you um, tackle that is a one type of teaching in your life it's the your education system so it makes the child ready for the future which is, which is not only involve the skills to make a living but also the skills to like a discipline honesty decision making leadership management of things and and in many more so in the anisant time in the education system they have to consider how to live the life they have to teach that how to live life right so it's a main thing it's a right education in this field so in the anisant education system there are used to be an overall development of the student with well understood moral and values the students were taught all subject and which used to be a helpful to them in every manner some of the important characteristics of indian anisant education system are as follows first one there was a gurukul system right i discussed in the last slide that there are the gurukul system where a child was expected to leave a family and live with the guru like teacher 
and his residence is till the education is completed and uh, you also seen this type of education system in the uh, in the movies in the serials right second one the four vedas taught which the include the every truth ones need to be known to be able to make a one's life fulfilling there are the four types of vedas what are them you have to comment me okay you should comment in this um, comment box and and tell me what are the four vedas right like rugved then you should yeah right you should uh, comment me right so what are there you should uh, then i uh, i ask you and i uh, we can say that i know that you know about that or not that four, what are the four vedas so uh, you you should uh, we can say comment me that what are the four vedas so uh, in this four vedas they have to consider how to uh, live the life so there are the knowledge of the stages of this life is the rig veda uh it's a how to perform a sacrifice so in uh, in the rug veda it's a we can say uh we can say is a first first vedas of in our in our india right and how to perform a sacrifice in the yajur veda and music in sam veda and medical and ancient in the atharva veda so here you see there are the four names are considered here first one is a rig ved yajur ved sam ved and atharva ved rig ved it teaches to you it gives the knowledge to you how to live the life then yajur ved is teaches to you how you sacrifice in your life then samved is teaches to you in the music and the medicine and science medical science is considered in the atharva veda so there are the four veda and we can say um, first ved is rigved okay the vedas are the root of the all hindu philosophies and enrich with the knowledge of the culture meaning of the life and what is the right and wrong you can easily understand if you learn this four vedas then the education was conduct in the three phases first one is a shravan manan and the nindyasan shravan is a means to listening a mostly what is the guru teaches is a shravan manan manan means this the pondering with the over which of one has to learn then every discussion debate about the topic then nindyasan means self realization of the truth which means a meditation so in this any sun time they have to consider three phases shravan manan and nindyasan self discipline was the most important hence a no punishment system was there because all students are self disciplined so there are the no requirement of the punishment then fifth one there are the objective of education system was the complete development of the person with the sound body mind and soul so they all teaches them regarding the life and regarding the soul the spiritualization nature nature of the education does not mean that it was the materialistic but is the realistic real education real life education they have to give that moral upliftment of the students was given a more importance in this anisan time of the education system the above points are the few features of the indian education system for the point of view of the learning for the manager so the managers also go through the many challenges in the daily and the fast changing life so uh they have to very overloaded and sometimes they are faced with the anxiety stress as they have to face a lot of dilemmas and when it's come for the wisdom to choose between the right and wrong option is solving the problem is a holistic manner at that time this type of vedas are very important to them a manager is also responsibility for the growth of the organization in the term of profitability always manager is responsible regarding that that always they have to try to give the higher profit higher on the profit in the market indian anisant education system had the features which are the timeless and the applicable even in the today's world 
and today's working professional are facing a many problems just because of the weak roots due to the inefficient education system why we have to face this type of unethical practices why we have to see there are the number of manager have to do this type of un unethical practices employees do this type of unethical practices because roots are not strong our values are not strong that's why this type of things are happen in india right then third topic is the law of karma the law of karma is refers to cause and effects it says that result we get our lives is depends on the causes that we make what we make then we we have to get in our future so law of karma i hope you know this and in this cpd subject we learn about that right if we do good good and shall come to us and if we do bad then is bad things will happen so the law of karma is strict and reliable hence the law of karma is teaches that our thoughts words and actions must always be a good and positive if we want to get a good and positive lives and result in our lives so it's equivalent to the newton's law every action must have the reaction if you do good activities if you do the fair activities then you have to get the fair we can say uh, any fair uh, activities and good uh, we can say moral you have to consider right and if you doing the bad activities on ethical practices then this type of result you have to get in your life hence when we think and speak act in a certain manner it's generate a force of according to it which can be modified and suspended but cannot be eradicated eradicated okay we cannot erase it but we try to modify it there is a deep knowledge about the karma is a hindu system it's which includes the detailed guidance of what are good and bad karmas but here for the sake of the understanding which we can apply in the professional life we must remember that the law of karma means as you sh as you show so you will reap then what is the law of karma is useful we can say how it's useful for this managers and professional you can say that madam you say this law of karma is important how it's important for the manager in professional life so let's see when a manager works in the according to the law of karma he or she will be careful for the making sure that there will be a discussion and the action do not harm for the anyone this help them become a manager with the with the compensation is to be a turn a build close knit organization and environment is a trust and the integrity is there if you doing a partially if you doing work with the uh, with, without any partiality if you doing the fair activities then your environment is must good there are the no requirement of any jealousy there are the no requirement of any unethical practices that doing by the employees because employees know that uh, you are doing the any uh, you cannot doing any unfair activities to them the force of doing good karmas in deeds and the organization do good act for the society the law of causes and the effect is focused on the causes we can make to live happy and the successful life hence if an organization has a manager who focus on the causes then it will be also try to some social good which will be help to carrying out a corporate social responsibility we uh, we learn in the pm subject principles of economics and management in the chapter number 9 you learn that csr corporate social responsibility in the turn will helpful for the society why we do this type of csr activities csr is a one type of uh, we can say that um, one type of expense for the organization one type of uh, we can say um, companies expense why they have to doing this type of expense for the society because society is the part of the business without society any business cannot not run any any company cannot run that's why they have to doing the focus to doing this type of good we can say karmas for them the focus on the karma is also help the manager to respect the human dignity of each and every employee of the organization thereby is a building a culture of mutual respect honesty and the truthfulness and trust the manager is focusing on the karma 
will always be a good employees and such positive environment is a motivate the employees to work for the betterment of the organization and not only for the self interest but they always manage to try to doing a good for their employees the employees is focusing on the law of karma will always be a good to other like the manager colleagues customer etc and it's a turn that they will be a good response from will help to they have to grow then practically the entire organization which create a good causes will be gain the trust from the people and will earn a good will and also a profitability it will leads to over growth of the organization and the last topic is that manager and the employees of the organization who keeps a law of karma in the mind will always take the ethical decision and action if they have to working with the karma if they have to working with the law of karma then they always work with the good ethics and as is known the right and the what is the wrong in the other words they know about that and what will be get them is a desirable result and what is will be get there are the undesirable result and what they the undesirable result is get from the law of karma right so thank you very much here we completed chapter number 6 first three uh, topics introduction lesson from the anisant india education system and the law of karma right and there are the remaining two topics i will discuss in the next video lecture if you have any query regarding the any topic you can contact me from the any mode of communication thank you very much